Welcome to the ABC of the Animal Kingdom. Weevils are beetles belonging to the superfamily Curculionoidea, known for their elongated snouts. Approximately 97,000 species of weevils are known. They are generally divided into two major divisions, the orthoceri or primitive weevils, and the gonatoceri or true weevils. Primitive weevils are distinguished by having straight antennae, while true weevils have elbowed antennae. The elbow occurs at the end of the scape, the first antennal segment. They belong to seven families, with most of them in the family Curculionidae, the true weevils. Anthribidae. They are also known as fungus weevils. Most anthribids feed upon fungi or decaying plant matter. Adalabidae. These weevils are also known as leaf rolling weevils. Females cut slits into leaves to deposit their eggs and roll that part of the leaf in which the larvae will feed. Brentidae. It is a cosmopolitan family because its range extends across all or most of the world in appropriate habitats. They are xylophagous beetles as their diet consists primarily of wood. These are also known as straight snout weevils. Belidae. These weevils are typically elongated and cylindrical. Caridae. It is a small Gondwanan family of weevils. Nemonicidae. Both adults and larvae feed primarily on pollen. They are associated with pinales feeding on the pollen of the male inflorescences, reason why they are also known as pine flower weevils. The most notable characteristic is the prolongation of the head, called the rostrum. A weevil's rostrum, or elongated snout, has chewing mouthparts instead of the piercing mouthparts that proboscis-possessing insects are known for. The mouthparts are often used to excavate tunnels into grains. The snout can be very short and indistinguishable, or very long and narrow. Shapes are highly variable from broadly oval to elongated, and from slightly flattened to highly convex. The length can vary from 1 to 80 mm, but most are 2 to 20 mm. The colors can be diverse, but the most common is black, gray, or dark brown, and less frequently other colors. Most weevils can fly, though a significant number are flightless, such as the genus Oshirhynchus. Weevils are phytophagous or herbivorous. They feed on stems, leaves, roots, fruits, and almost any type of plant, terrestrial, or freshwater. They often have a narrow range of usable host plant species being larvae's diet more restricted than that of the adults. Ropalapian longirostor exhibits an extreme case of sexual dimorphism. A female's rostrum is twice as long, and its surface is smoother than the male's. This dimorphism is not attributed to sexual selection, but in response to ecological demands of egg deposition. Another example of extreme dimorphism in weevils is that of the New Zealand giraffe weevil. Males measure up to 90 mm, 3.5 inches, while females 50 mm, 2.0 inches. One species of weevil, Ostroplatypus incompertus, exhibits eusociality, one of the few insects outside the Hymenoptera, bees and ants, and the Isoptera, termites, to do so. Eusociality is the highest level of organization of sociality, and is defined by the following characteristics, cooperative brood care, overlapping generations within a colony of adults, and a division of labor into reproductive and non-reproductive groups. Other unique species with striking colors or shapes are Trachylophorus giraffe Aids cultratus Hipparomyces larvae Gymnophilus weiskei Rhynchophorus cruentatus Rigus nigrosparsus
Certipistimus castaneus caldari. Meganthribus pupa. Pacarincus erixini. Euphilus schneideri. Lixus iridus. Victiscus populi. Apian fermentarium. Many weevils are considered pests because of their ability to damage and kill crops. The grain or wheat weevil, Cytophilus granarius, damages stored grain. As does the maize weevil, Cytophilus semis. The boll weevil, Anthonomus grandis, lays its eggs inside cotton bowls, and the larvae eat their way out. However, other weevils are used for the biological control of invasive plants. In 1989, the introduction of Pontideria crassipes, commonly known as common water hyacinth, affected Lake Victoria in Africa, thus affecting Tanzania, Kenya, and mainly Uganda. In 1996 an Australian company, along with the help of African experts, introduced the species Eocatina icornii and Neocatina bruchii. An amount of approximately 100,000 weevils were thrown into Lake Victoria. By the end of 1998, the water hyacinth had practically disappeared. The introduction of these species did not affect other species. If you love dogs and cats as much as we do, stay tuned on Sundays. We will also post new videos about wild animals and insects every Thursday. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell, so you do not miss any of our incredible videos.